I'm Brenda Coates from uh, Department of Agriculture and Food in Western Australia. I'm here at the GRDC updates in Adelaide uh, talking about Beet Western Yellows virus in canola. Beet Western Yellows virus has been found in Australia since the 1980s so it's, a, it's been you know, around the place for, for a long time but the situation that happened in uh, South Australia last year um, was a result of kind of a perfect storm where we had um, the virus itself the vector, which is most uh, predominantly green peach aphid, and all the weather conditions being just perfect for um, early spread of that virus into canola crops um, at the rosette stage. And from there, we were seeing uh, quite devastating losses um, in the canola yields. So work that I'd been doing in Western Australia quite some years back um, actually um, sort of uh, complemented this, this study that they, um, the situation that happened in South Australia in that we were finding where we had um, large increases in Big Western Yellows virus in crops, we were getting up to yield losses of um, about 46%, which is similar to some of the, the um, records that we're finding in South Australia um, from last year. So what we, what we put together and what has been put together are a series of management strategies for Big Western Yellows. And this is um, in terms of controlling the virus, in um, looking at vectors of the virus, and also um, putting together some management strategies for uh, cultural control such as um, removing weeds that can be sources of the virus but, and also sources of the aphid vector as well and also um, cultural measure, measures such as um, sowing into standing stubble which can reduce aphid landing, appropriate use of insecticides such as seed dressings um, and all these things put together can help reduce the amount of big western yellows that um, can infect canola um, crops.